a fritter that's going to be incredibly delicious. Deli what do we have in here? Let's see. Some basil. Still in the tuna. Let's see. We'll start with that. That is So we're just gonna make a traditional tuna salad, okay? Let me grab something to uh, cut on. I think this will do. We'll just cover that up so that I'm right in your presence while I make this. This is something that I just like to, to have in the refrigerator in case I want a really fast snack to have. And what I was gonna show you, I went to the refrigerator to get one other thing. Oh, here we go. Here we go, dear. Okay. I had some mayo. There we go. There we go. So, I like to keep tuna in the refrigerator just to make a quick sandwich, or not even so much as a sandwich. I buy these um, almond flour crackers. I got these at Aldi, but I also bought, bought this larger bag at Costco. These are almond flour crackers um, that are totally keto friendly. Because sometimes you want a little crunch on something. So I got all this stuff here so I can show you some of the things that I enjoy from day to day that have helped me maintain my keto lifestyle for over four years. And uh, I've also lost 147 pounds on this keto journey. And I lost most of the weight in the first year. So I have kept it off for four years total now. So let's get a bowl to make our tuna in. We need a really large bowl, so let's see. Let's use that. And these are actually hex clad, hex clad bowls. So you can uh, get you some, actually, uh, just go to hexclad.com and you can use my coupon a code. I think it's Daryl. Is it Daryl 10? Check. Yeah. Daryl 10. Daryl 10, and you get 10% off. So, um, what I was going to show you, this is um, Palmento. Pimento, um, cheese, um, pimento cheese. That's really, really good. It's keto friendly and gluten free. You can buy this at Kroger Publix or just wherever, or you can make your own um, pimento cheese. And when you make it, use like an avocado mayo, avocado mayo, or or actually a um, uh, Greek yogurt, which is really good. So we've got a can of tuna. We're just gonna, it's already been drained. I'm just gonna dump it in here. Let's see if we can get a fork or spoon or something. I don't wanna break this up. It's like, who don't know how to make tuna, you know? So let me just dump, I'm only gonna make one can. Cause I don't eat it fast enough. It'll stay in there and just go bad. Cause I don't eat tuna every day. But like late night, if I wanna, if I get hungry, I'll grab a half of a tuna sandwich. Of course on a keto bread that I buy actually at Aldi. That's really, really tasty. You can find keto bread just about anywhere. You can find it at uh, Publix, Kroger. But I really like uh, Aldi's, the brand. Oh my God, it's really, really good. Where is it? Keto friendly, it's made with a, um, a wheat flour. Um, and maybe has a little almond flour in it also, but it's really good. They have this in the brown and the white. I prefer the white. Doesn't have an aftertaste, it tastes like real bread that's full of carbs, but the secret is this is not full of carbs. How wonderful is that, right? So, let's see. Let me get a spoon so we can mix this up. I'm gonna go real fast because um, my plan was not to really cook anything today, but I just want to have something in the house um, when I want a sandwich or something real fast. I'm going to use just a little avocado mayo. 
This is a regular avocado, chosen avocado mayo. And uh, you can use just a little bit, maybe some Greek yogurt. It depends on how much tuna that you're gonna make. We're only gonna use one can because, hey, I don't want it to go bad. And there's one thing I forgot to take out because I actually like a little um, celery in my tuna. Let's see if I can grab some celery. Celery, where are you? I forgot to take the celery out. And I love a little celery in my tuna. And I'm probably gonna use maybe about a fourth of a tablespoon. I don't need that much. But I love celery, so. And some, I actually will use a little celery stalk, but I'm not gonna do that today. So we've got, oh, that smells really, really good. And I have some amazing things. I'm gonna add some capers. So a few capers and some fresh chopped garlic that I already prepared. Eat a lot of spicy stuff. I, I used to love spicy, but of course, you know, I got a kidney transplant. I got a kidney transplant four years ago. And that's actually why I started this keto journey. And some of you may, may ask, isn't keto dangerous? Yeah, it can be. It can be dangerous if you're sitting up eating a pound of bacon and all that dairy. I didn't do that. Even my doctors didn't really want me to start keto. But I went against their word, I mean, their decision, but then did it. And I went back to the doctor and they were like, what are you doing? I said, keto. And I was like, whoa. And so they did some tests on my uh, cholesterol and all that. I'm adding some onion. I did a few jalapeno, pickled jalapeno to this. You can just stir that a little bit. Don't need much. And I was actually gonna add a little, um, red onion, but I just use regular because I like color. We won't worry about that tonight. And I'm putting some fresh parsley in there and some red peppers, not red, yellow peppers. I wanted red, I didn't have any. So just actually, just use what you have at home. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put some sea salt and pepper in here. That is actually going to be about it. Just a little sea salt. Just a little sea salt. And I'm going to add, I keep a little cracked pepper. Because I love cracked pepper. It just wakes up your flavors. And one more thing, one more thing I'm going to add to this. I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. This is not your mother's uh, tuna. No, 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 not at all. And so we're gonna add some pickled sweet relish, not sweet relish, but dill relish. Had just a little bit left in that jar. And it's probably maybe like two tablespoons. But use as much as your heart desires, okay? And I was actually raised on uh, sweet relish in your tuna. And I will add just a pinch of monk fruit sugar because I'm, I'm so used to uh, sweet relish. And so I want it to taste just like my mom made it when I was a kid, okay? So it's gonna be kind of sweet, not too sweet, but just a little. That's gonna be good. Mmm. Now, let me try this. Let me try, try, try. Oh, this is gonna be good. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Little tuna. I keep it in the refrigerator. So that way, if I run out, run errands or something, I'll take some bread, make me a sandwich, and just carry it with me. Put it in a Ziploc bag, and you got a little tree with some berries. So it's like always being prepared so that you don't just freak out and run to fast food, you know. That should be your last sort resort. However, it's okay. Sometimes I go by Chick-fil-A and I will get a um, kale salad with grilled nuggets and buffalo sauce or ranch dressing. Ranch is keto friendly. So just look, those minor things actually help me to stay on this keto journey, this lifestyle. Not a diet, a lifestyle. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. And that was easy as one, two, three. And that is not your mother's tuna salad. So, you know what I did not add? We'll add them later. I had some boiled eggs, and I forgot to add them to them. But just know, you can always add your boiled eggs. I actually boiled two eggs, and I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna go ahead and peel them. I'm, not, I'm missing something. I couldn't figure out what was I missing. Your eggs, Chef. So some of you may know, I was on Next Level Chef with Gordon Ramsay, Naisha Arrington, and Richard Blaze. I was on Team Blaze, Richard Blaze's team. Season two, and season three just started January 28th. This past weekend, I actually went to Alex's um, Denalio premiere party in uh, New Jersey. So I was in uh, New York this past weekend, came back just in time to cook some stuff for Super Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, really great trip. Had so much fun. So, so, so much fun. So, since we cut these eggs up, peeled them, let's just go ahead and put them in the tuna. So if you're gonna do it, do it right, Chef. And we're gonna go on to our next, um, dish that we're going to have. Now have that egg cutter. Yeah. I'm not going to take the time to cut these by hand and chop them or mash them. No. I have a little egg cutter. Let's see. We're just going to cut them. Mmm. Now, this is going to be really good. I love a good tuna salad, especially when it sits in the refrigerator for a few days and you got your keto bread or your, or your um, almond crackers. You know, what's amazing is what... Um, the carbs do to your body. You know, after losing 147 pounds, I feel incredible, you know? It's like, I don't wanna go back there. Now that looks, that looks like a tuna salad. Oh man, that smells good. Now, there we go. Doesn't it look awesome? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add just a few more now that's pretty. Because you know, I'm a strong believer. We eat with our eyes. Tuna. For any time of the day, if I want a quick snack, grab some bread or some almond crackers. Keto friendly bread, of course. Or keto wrap. Or keto chips. You know, there's so many things out there that are, you can substitute for bread, you know. Uh, another one is, uh, we actually made on, on uh, Super Bowl, we made, oh my God, we made these incredible 
barbecued chicken nachos. Oh my God, they were incredibly good. And so these are two tortilla chips. These are Beyond chips. You can find them at Kroger, Amazon, Whole Foods, uh, so many various places. Just look around. Beyond chips. So we actually made them on Super Bowl Sunday. We used Quest tortilla chips. Found these at Walmart. And they are really, really, really good. Really good. They actually taste like, um, let's tell you what you they taste like. They actually taste similar to um, Doritos. And we made them with, wait for it, Kicking Country Keto Barbecue Sauce. Have you heard? Chef has a keto barbecue sauce. It's available on Amazon right now. And actually it's available on TikTok. We just put it on TikTok. It's available uh, for you to sell it if you wish. Uh, it is incredibly good. Now I have tried some other sauces that are out there uh, during my time of being on keto, this keto journey for four years. And uh, being, I, I'm actually originally born and bred in Memphis, Tennessee. So what does that mean? Memphis is Memphis is actually known for barbecue and blues. So you know, this is the shit, okay? It's really, really good. I hate to say that, but it's true. It's true, the secret is out. So it's available on Amazon if you have uh, Prime, it's free shipping. Also, it's available on TikTok. You can get it now. Remember to like, follow, and share. It'll soon be available in your local retail outlets. Yay! Do I hear music playing? Do I hear music? Because I feel like dancing. You know what I mean? Yes. Finally, we have gotten there. So, let's talk about the next dish we're going to make. We're gonna make shrimp. I was about to say shrimp and crab. Oh, this is actually, you know, Chef loves a nice drink and the cocktail from time to time. This is actually, you won't believe it. This is zero sugar Canada Dry. Oh, and it's good. Cause sometimes you want that belch. Yeah, so this is a zero sugar Canada Dry. I don't drink a lot of uh, soda, but this is something I will have maybe every other day. But drink lots and lots and lots of water. Oh man, I'm gonna leave that can there so people will know when I'm drinking. Somebody wants to see the keto bread too one more time. Oh yeah. So this is the actual bread that I use. I get it at Aldi. And I, you know, the thing is, I don't break the bank. So I do a lot of shopping at Aldi, you know. And we sleep on Aldi and um, what other stores I go to? Aldi, Trader Joe's, um, Fresh Market, and sometimes I go to Whole Foods. Uh, just various places, you know. But this is an incredible bread. Now, they have this in the brown and the white. I prefer the white. It is really, really good. And I'm going to share some other things that you see on the table that I enjoy. And these things have helped me maintain my weight. Maintain my weight. Now, I'm going to talk about, because our next dish we're going to make um, shrimp and tuna fritters. You can call them fritters. You can call them cakes or whatever you want to call them. They are good, okay? And um, I have lost over 147 pounds on keto. This is me while being on dialysis for 17 years. And then on the, on the left, uh-oh. Come on back this way. Come on back this way. And then on the other side, I'm like 140, two or three or something like that. And so during the holidays, I did uh, get off. I didn't totally get off on keto, but um, I enjoyed some carbs. You know, it's holiday. So I gained like maybe six or seven pounds. And so we recently did a 19 day keto challenge. And so I thought, well, let me take it to the people. Because I get so many uh, questions and I'm always willing to answer them. So I said, let me take it to the people. Let's do a 19-day keto challenge. And so we started, I think we started 
January the 14th or 15th. And our end date was, it was actually on the 2nd of February. So, and the prize, whoever won, lost the most weight would get a free case of Kicking Country Keto Barbecue Sauce. When I tell you, it has a kick, a peppery finish, but it's not, it's not that peppery uh, uh, taste that makes you want water or milk or something. It makes you want another dose. It makes you want more. Every bite you take. And I'm not just saying that because I made it, but it's really, really good. So let's grab a pan. Let me grab a pan for what we're about to do next. Yeah, this is going to be really, really good. And I love making this. I really, really love making this incredible dish. Let's see. That way, you guys can actually see the sauce if I put it there. But the sauce is now available on TikTok and Amazon. Remember you guys, like, follow, and share. Like, follow, and share. Daryl Taylor's Chef Drama on all platforms, okay? On all platforms. Uh, TikTok, Instagram, and my Twitter is Daryl Taylor 7. And so I'm gonna spray, this is olive oil. And Google can be your friend. You can ask Google, is this, you can ask Google a list of keto vegetables, keto fruits, because not all fruits are keto friendly. And before I started this journey, I thought because I was consuming uh, all veggies and fruits that I, you know, I was doing good. Well, it, it came to pass that some veggies are full of carbs, like corn and carrots. Um, they're good for you, but all my life I've been enjoying those things. I'm spray a little olive oil. I use olive oil, but you can also use avocado oil. And there's some other oils out there that you can use. This is the olive, uh, avocado oil. You see? And I'm going to put those right there because I'm going to have, have to reach back to them. And I'm just heating my pan up while we put together our next little batch of things that we're gonna pull together. Okay. So, let me see what we're gonna have. Next, that's our tuna. This is the egg with this, okay. What else, what else do you need, Daryl? Okay. Okay, so, what we're gonna do here, can you guys see me? I might need to move some of this crap out of the way so the people can see you, Daryl. Let me move all this crap out of the way because I got too much going on here. I have wants to know if keto is good for diabetics. Keto can be wonderful for diabetics. Let's see, tell you this. I was actually pre-diabetic when I started this journey. And uh, I went to my doctors. You have to remember, I am um, a um, renal patient. I was on dialysis for 17 years. So I went to the doctor for my regular checkup and um, asked my doctor, I said, um, well, she's actually told me, well, you're pre-diabetic. I'm like, no way, because my mom was, pre was, was diabetic. And so I did not want to hear that. So I'm dumping one can of tuna. This is canned tuna, but you can use fresh tuna. And I'm using canned. And so, she told me I was pre-diabetic. Now I'm just going for a regular checkup. Uh, uh, checking on my kidney. Because I got a kidney transplant. And she said, you're pre-diabetic. and Because uh, I gained more weight after the transplant because I had to take prednisone. So I'm like, oh wow, I'm pre-diabetic. And, uh, and this is actually some shrimp that I had. This is jumbo shrimp that we had left over um, from Super Bowl. So I'm just using what I had in the kitchen and thought, well, let me make some shrimp and crab. I mean, some shrimp and tuna fritters. I would have used crab, but I didn't have any crab. I had tuna, so tuna is what it's going to be, you know? So this is my way of not breaking the bank, guys. And I think a lot of times people think that keto is expensive. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not. It's not expensive at all. 
because um, I just open the refrigerator and whatever I have in there, I'm not going to throw it away. I'm just going to try to mix, create something out of it. And maybe I feel that way because I'm a chef. I, I do this professionally. And so I thought, you know, actually my doctors, you asked the question. I, I haven't answered your question. But uh, my doctors were telling me they didn't think I should do keto. And I thought, hmm, I don't know about that. So I said, well, I went to my sister's that's a nutritionist, Betty Marrero, and I saw a good friend of mine lose a lot of weight doing keto. And I'm like, wait a minute. So I'm like, now I know I don't have to eat all that protein. And I just listened to her and I kept it going. And I thought, mm -mm, let me just try to mo modify this to fit my lifestyle. Even my sister even said, well, what did your doctor say? I didn't tell her what the doctor said. Because she probably would have tried to tell me not to do keto. So, what I did was uh, modify this lifestyle, not a diet. I'm, I got my tuna in here, and I'm putting maybe like four shrimp. I might add a few more, because I have two more shrimp. So, I'll use all six shrimp. These are jumbo shrimps, and I'm just cutting them up. And so I thought, mm, I don't have, because my doctors were like, well, I don't think you need to do keto because that's too much protein and too much dairy. We don't want you to have high cholesterol. So I'm like, okay, okay. I went right on home, did my research, and uh, made my mind up that I was going to do this lifestyle. So I got shrimp, six shrimp and one can of tuna. Okay. And um, I thought, well, let me try to modify this, this diet, lifestyle, so that I, I know I don't have to eat all this dairy and protein. Because the thing is, you don't have to sit up and eat a pound of bacon. You don't have to eat all that crap. You don't have to eat all that yogurt and all that crap. You don't have to do that. Modify to fit your lifestyle. If you know you're a diabetic, you know, you shouldn't be eating pineapple and grapes and all those strawberries anyway. Because those things are high in uh, sugars, natural sugar. You don't need that. What you need are berries. I'm not a physician. I'm just telling you what has worked for me, being pre-diabetic and a renal patient. So, uh, and get, having a kidney, one functioning kidney. So, I knew that I could modify it. For my lifestyle and I did so and being that I did I've lost 147 pounds my doctors then did a um, test on my um, cholesterol all was fine and it blew their mind I said because I'm not sitting up eating a pound of bacon and all that crap I'm modifying this lifestyle this I don't want to say diet because I had to get that out of my head it's not a diet don't think about things which you can't have think about all the good stuff you can have and like this dish so I'm gonna put use one egg in here. One egg. You see that? Are frozen berries good for you? Berries are good. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. Um, I don't do any bananas. I don't do pineapple. I will do cantaloupe. Some watermelon because it has a lot of sugar in it, and some honeydew. They have a lot of sugar in it. So Google could be your friend. Uh, ask Google anything you need to know. And what really helped me were, were groups on Facebook. Um, one was um, one was uh, Keto for Beginners. Uh, and there's one Keto for Beginners recipes. Uh, when you go to Facebook, just put in Keto and all these different groups will, will pop up. And uh, you, if you go to Keto for Beginners and chime in, ask them questions. They're eager to tell you what has helped them throughout the course of their keto journey uh, because that helped me a lot. And I, you'll find pictures of me on there uh, being 290 pounds and then pictures of me now after losing 147 pounds, you know. Excuse me. I never dreamed that I would ever lose that much weight on a lifestyle. I never even dreamed this. And here I am. Isn't that crazy? Really, really crazy to me, but it worked for me. And so we're gonna use some of these things. Let's see, we don't need all of this. I like a little color. 
And so let's see. What we're using, we've got some red cabbage and maybe about like a maybe, uh, I would say maybe two tablespoons of onion, white onion. And I normally would use a red onion, but since I have red cabbage, just swap it up a little bit. You know, because I like a little color. That's the only reason I do that. Okay. Now, because I cut that shrimp, I wanted to sanitize this uh, knife because I don't want to use another knife, you know, because then who has to wash the dishes? Chef! Actually, the dishwasher is going to wash them, but I still got to rinse them off. Okay. My knife skills are not that good because remember, I was on dialysis for 17 years and was kidney transplanted. Um... November the 17th, 2019, right before we went into uh, COVID. And so being that I was on dialysis so long, I had um, issues with um, my um, circulation. And how many people can say they did dialysis for 19 years and are still here? I mean, 17 years. And so I have some portobello mushrooms. We're adding those to this. These are going to be incredible. When I tell you, they are going to be delicious. Mm. Now, these are berries. Uh-oh, I've been eating berries all day. These are blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. They are good. Little snack. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add some fresh garlic to this. So it's all in the flavors. I don't even miss the other crap I eat all the time. Some capers. And you can make these um, any way you wish. There's no set recipe. You know, just make them do you. If you don't like capers, don't use them. If you don't like yellow peppers, use whatever pepper you like. Red pepper, just whatever. I just like a lot of color. And that might not be your story. And we're putting some chopped parsley in there. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. Okay. We're going to stir this just a little bit. We've got a few more things I'm going to add in here. Ooh. Now, this is the fun part. We've got some mozzarella cheese. I tell you. And we're going to put just a little bit bell pepper. You might not be into bell pepper. Don't use it if you're not into it. Mmm. I wish you could see this. I'm going to show it to you. Look at all those colors. You see all those colors? Oh, man. And to this, we are going to add some Parmesan cheese. It's already grated. The cheap stuff. <laughs> so there's nothing fancy about this. But these are going to be amazing. Can you hear me? Okay. There we go. So this is the fun part. So we're gonna start heating our pan back up because I did turn it off. Okay. Now, we are going to add some breadcrumbs. The other, just the other day I made breadcrumbs and this is um, Parmesan cheese and I took the butt end pieces of the bread that I, I had, baked it in the oven and put it in the processor, put it in a Ziploc bag and beat it with your spoon and blend all that together with Parmesan trees, almond flour, and that, and the uh, the, bread, the bread pieces. You turn into crumbs and season them with whatever seasoning you want to. A little sea salt, uh, basil, oregano, whatever you want to use. Granulated garlic, and you got keto breadcrumbs. Tell everybody again what you're making. You keto I am making, uh oh, I'm making a tuna and shrimp fritter. 
You can call them tuna or, and shrimp fritters or um, a patty or cake, but whatever you call them, they are absolutely amazing. So I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil to this. Now you can actually put them in the air fryer, but, uh, and this is our breadcrumbs. Now this is um, an amazing little storage, food storage. And these are reusable, eco-friendly, and these are uh, Gaia's Echo Kitchen. Oh my God, incredible. Thanks Gaia, I really appreciate this. And I've been using them so often, I have to tell people about them. Because they are incredibly uh, amazing. So we're not gonna make these too, too large. However, I'm gonna take a little of our breadcrumb mixture. Oh, Chef, you are burning up some stuff in here. And you know what I gotta add, what I gotta do? I have got to add some seasoning to this. So I'm adding just a little spoon of, the, of our breadcrumb mixture. You see what that looks like? Doesn't that look good? And I actually use these breadcrumbs and I make um, salmon pat, salmon croquettes. Um, what else do I make with them? Salmon croquettes, I use them to make uh, uh, salmon pad. Well, same thing, salmon croquettes. But uh, even uh, crab cakes. You know, all this seafood, you're not really missing anything. You can still go out to dinner and have steak and lobster. All this stuff you can enjoy still. Just don't eat baked potatoes or french fries. What's that? Just a few days ago, we made, uh, I made cauliflower, mashed potatoes, and fried chicken. I think that was yesterday or the day before. Cauliflower, mac and cheese, uh, mashed potatoes, and um, fried chicken. Using the same breadcrumbs. Season your chicken the same way you normally season. I think I marinated mine with a little, uh, uh, a leg roll, a marinade, and maybe some uh, spicy mustard, whatever you want to use, you know. Can you use Old Bay? You can use Old Bay. It, 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 I think it is keto friendly, um, but just watch the sodium in it because you still need to kind of watch your sodium because that will cause you to retain fluid. And we don't want you to retain any, any fluid. We're trying to get the weight off. But when I tell you, when I initially first tried this, I was losing like crazy weight, like six and seven pounds a week. And I'm trying to talk myself out of it. I'm like, well, that's probably just water weight. And so I did it. Uh, I think I, I, I told myself, I said, I'm going to sign up for this for um, two weeks. Let me try it for two weeks. So I started this keto journey um, for two weeks, four years ago. And so after the first week, I lost like six pounds or seven. And the second week, I got off that weekend and kind of enjoyed a little stuff. Not much because I'm still in, in my mind. I'm thinking flour and carbs. It has done a work on me for years. And I'm like, whoa. So uh, I was just mindful of just that. I need to add some salt and pepper. Um. And so I got off that weekend, but I got back on ooh, Monday through Friday. That's probably too much salt. Okay. And got right back on. And it just blew my mind how much weight was just falling off me. Because what was going on, my body was like, give me some carbs. <laughs> Where are my carbs? And I'm like, whoa. It was blowing my mind to see what was going on. I'm like, whoa. What's really going on? I'm gonna to have to put one more egg in here, guys, because I wasn't meaning to make this much. And, um, and I'll tell you another thing I've made with cauliflower. Cauliflower mac and cheese. Cauliflower mac and cheese. With cream cheese, your eggs, just make it the same way you normally make your macaroni. And I, 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 I when I'm using a pasta, I make macaroni with, uh, your eggs, your nutmeg, and heavy cream, all that good stuff, you know. 
And um, I take that recipe and use cauliflower, mac cauliflower, and it people go crazy over it. They go freaking crazy over this. Mmm. Now this is beautiful. Okay. Now I'm gonna shake some breadcrumbs here. Where are the breadcrumbs? These are my keto breadcrumbs. I'll shake some right here. And I love these little storage bags. You know, sometimes I have leftovers. And um, I just put them right in here and just put them in the refrigerator. And there's another little piece of uh, thing I'll show you that actually use, I use too for, um, let me put some of these breadcrumbs in here. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of Allegro marinade. It's a marinade, but baby, when I tell you flavor, and I think that's what helped me to stay on this keto lifestyle, was flavor. I, I, I love flavor in everything. And of course, you're not on a catering service here in Atlanta. And so, um, remember to like, share, and follow. Uh, on a catering service, Epicurean Drama events, and we do a lot of celebrity influence events here. And um, I love flavor. And uh, when you taste my food, it's like, what in the world? What in the hell? Because it's all in flavor, baby. If it's not flavorful, I don't want it. And I think that's why I was able to stay on this lifestyle because I would cook your traditional recipes and the flavor was there. So I didn't feel like I was missing anything. It has to have flavor or it's not going to work for me. And so if you're going to do keto, make it flavorful. And that's my logo for this sauce. Who says keto has to be boring? It's not. It's not boring for me. Otherwise, I couldn't did it. I could not have did it. And you won't do it either if, it's, if, if you're going to be on this boring uh, plan. Mm. And we're just forming these. Just forming these little cakes. Mmm. Mmm. Remember to like, follow, and share. Like, follow, and share. Chef Drama, Chef Taylor from Next Level Chef, season two. Oh, man. These are gonna be simply delicious. And I'm just coating these a little bit. I don't wanna put too many breadcrumbs on them. But these are keto friendly breadcrumbs, so. Thing is, I don't want to get them too dry, because then they'll fall apart. And you don't want that, right? No, you don't, Chef. Now, I could have did these in the air fryer, but I chose not. Maybe we'll make maybe three or four. And these are tuna and shrimp. Fritters, or, or you can call them cakes, fritters, or whatever you want to call them. I think I prefer to call them a cake because a fritter is almost like um, you've got a lot of, um, I don't know, almost like tempura in a sense, the batter is. But um, so we can't use all that. So we may just call them a, a, a cake. So it's like I'm creating these recipes as we go, you know. Depends on what I have a taste for that day. And so believe it or not, when we did the 19 day keto challenge, I actually did pancakes, pan blueberry pancakes for breakfast one morning. And another morning I did, um, I did crepes on a keto breakfast. Crepes stuffed with um, whipped cream that we made with uh, heavy cream. And for sugar, we used the monk fruit sugar. I'll show you the monk fruit. Well, did I mention that already? With monk fruit sugar, baby. Blending it with a little vanilla extract. And when I tell you, 
They were absolutely delicious. Stuffed with berries. It was like, who said anything about being on a diet? Because you don't miss anything. You're getting everything your heart desires. Okay. I can't wait to try these, you know? I really can't. I'm going to spray just a little bit more oil in here. I know we don't need all that oil, but these are things that have worked for me. I don't count carbs. I don't count micros. I've never did that. And if I had to do that, I was not going to last on this lifestyle. I was not. And I knew that. And so when I first asked my sister about this lifestyle, she went into telling me how she counted carbs and and I said, oh, okay. And I just went right along. I said, because I knew, well, Chef is not going to count carbs. I'm, that's not me. Because then I feel restricted and I feel like I've got to. I'll tell you what, I even went out and bought one of these numbers a, a scale. Can you believe it? And I've only used it maybe twice. Because that was like a diet. I'm not going to do that. I am not going to do that. But I'll tell you, I cannot tell you how many times that I fell off the wagon. But I got back up. There were days that I ate a candy bar. One or two. Or even three. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> but I didn't stay defeated. I got back up. So don't beat yourself up when you try this lifestyle, this journey. It has changed my life, and I have to share those things with you. Because I, I, I would beat myself up. I'm like, oh, what? I, I'm not gonna. But then I said, Daryl, I get in the mirror, get your big self up, and get back on track. And I'll get back up uh, gracefully. And uh, here I am, 147 pounds later. I never even imagined that I would lose that much weight. And I can't tell you how many times I shopped for clothes. And um, I was actually coming from like a 46 in the waist. And uh, finally got to a 38. And I said, well, I'm, I'm good now. And, and the weight kept coming off. I'm like, whoa. I was excited. I was like, okay. So I went to a 36. And I got rid of all the other clothes. And I was like, okay. So I thought I was going to be there. And the next thing I knew, I'm down to like a 28, 29 in the waist. Can you see this? Keto has done this. Now, I still got a little pudge there. And I need to tone up. I'm working on that now. So um, I'm just excited. Excited about this next chapter and uh, believe it or not I am 53 years old 53 and was on dialysis for 17 years my kidneys uh, failed me uh, at the tender age of 31 31 you know and um, Lord knows I didn't think I would still be here and um, I remember one day I was thinking I was counting how long I had been on the house. I said, oh, God. And I wasn't doing good. I wasn't doing anything right. I wasn't taking my medicines right. I wasn't doing nothing right. And so I think I stayed on dialysis for so long. Because some people ask me, why did you stay on dialysis so long? Because I didn't want the kidney. I wanted a kidney. However, I was doing nothing right to be qualified to be a transplant patient. I wasn't doing anything right. And, and, you know, your doctor knows that. And so, when I finally had a near-death experience, it was then that God showed me that he chose me to go through whatever I was going through. And I was like, what? I'm like, oh, my God. Because I asked the question. I said, why would you have me to go through this Dallas? It's crap. And what I heard, what I got was, it was for others. I'm like, huh? But uh, here I am sharing my story with you. Um, I'm so glad I did not give up. 
There were so many days I wanted to throw in the towel and give up, but I didn't. Thank God I didn't. Because had I taken a bottle of pills or something, I wouldn't have gotten an opportunity to go to Next Level Chef with Gordon Ramsay and Naisha and Richard Blaze. That was a life-changing experience. So here I am on this picture at 290 pounds on the right and about 140 on the left. And uh, one of your viewers says she's lost 72 pounds in the last year. Good for you. Congratulations, Sandra. Sandra? Cassandra. 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 Congratulations. See, keto works. And I know you're not sitting there eating a whole pan, uh, pound of bacon. You're being mindful of what you're putting in your body. I eat bacon sometimes. I eat maybe two pieces. When I first started, I was eating four because I'm thinking, oh, I. but now I can't even eat that much because I have gotten used to this lifestyle. And when I do eat carbs, um, I just went to New York uh, what, last week. I think last Friday and Saturday, I was there for um, Alex's uh, premiere party for Next Level Chef season three. She's on there. And so I went and of course, I got off keto that weekend. I had two slices of cheesecake. Oh, oh. But when, when I came back home, it was keto, baby. We did a Super Bowl party. All things keto. Cassandra Joseph, you rock, girl. You rock. Keep it going. Keep it going. For me, it's a lifestyle. And it's okay to have a treat, a, che a cheat day here and there. Because I do. And then I'm going to show you some of the things that I eat because I'm doing too much talking. This is the monk fruit sugar that I use. Monk fruit sugar. I buy this in the gold. You can get it on Amazon. Monk fruit sugar. They do have it at Walmart, some Kroger's, but I buy it in the gold. For me, the white has an aftertaste. So I don't prefer the white. And uh, for me, I only use like a teaspoon of my coffee. When I first started using it, I would use two. Um, pork rinds. These are keto friendly. Because uh, sometimes you want a little snack. And of course I talked about uh, Beyond Chips. We made uh, barbecue chicken nachos for Super Bowl. Beyond Chips. You can find these anywhere. Um, and you, you're going to want to snack a, a treat. Like I bought these at Aldi. Not Aldi. Costco. Aldi has a lot of keto snacks. These are Reese's Pieces. Keto friendly baby. Dark chocolate and peanut butter. Because, you know, sometimes in the evening you want a snack. Or when you're in bed, you want a little something to snack on. See, I'm just trying to keep it real with you. Because these are things that I would run to. And, and I use these all the time. Even last night I had one or two of these. Um, and almond flour. And I, I share with you how I make my breadcrumbs. Almond flour. With your breadcrumbs, your butt end pieces of your bread, bake them, put them in a bag, Ziploc bag, beat it up, and you got crumbles, breadcrumbs, or put it in your food processor, and you got breadcrumbs. Season it, add some Parmesan cheese to it, shake it up in a container or a Ziploc bag, and you got keto breadcrumbs. And you can actually take the pork rinds, process these, and these are become um, keto panko. You can coat your chicken or whatever you want to coat with them. If you don't eat pork, don't work, don't get these. Um, but they give no flavor to pork when you use them on your foods. Um, and this is my to go to. Sugar free popsicles. I will sit in the bed and eat two or three of these, baby. Late night snack time TV. Oh yeah. Sugar free popsicle. And um let me uh, really freak you out. This pops. This is a uh, rebel ice cream. Ice cream. You can have ice cream. Rebel keto friendly. Last night I bought some um, black walnut by Rebel. <sighs> when I bought it, I was thinking of my grandma. My grandmother. That was her favorite ice cream, black walnut. And I had to go into Walmart and get this. But you can find it at Kroger, Publix. They even have sorbets. Um, really good. And uh, one other thing. Aldi has a lot 
of uh, ice cream that are keto friendly. And they're in the keto brand, they have um, vanilla, um, I think maybe black walnut, uh, chocolate chip, chocolate, uh, mint. I've e eaten them all, so. Because sometimes you want a little snack. But just because it's keto friendly, don't eat the whole container. <laughs> it's, it's so easy to do. Do not eat the whole container. I think there are what? Let me know how many servings are in here. There are two to three servings in here. It says three servings per container. Just make it two. Make it two. Eat half and half another day. And uh, another thing, we made we made pasta. This is hearts of pasta, hearts of palm pasta, spaghetti. You see that? It's um. Plant-based. It's already cooked. It comes in a bag. You see that? Natural heaven. Oh, yeah. And I just put this in after you make your sauce. Whether you used ground turkey, ground beef, ground lamb, whatever you use. And uh, the sauces I use are um, uh, Rails Marinara. And another one you can find is Michael's of Brooklyn. And they have very few carbs in them, uh, very few sugars, because any other sauce is loaded with sugar and carbs. So that's something to be mindful of. And when I make this, I added this to my uh, beef, ground turkey or ground beef, whatever you use, taco mix. Add some taco mix to it. Or if you don't use taco mix, add some cumin to it. A little fresh garlic, or granulated garlic. Oh, you will slap somebody. It's like eating a pasta out at Maggiano's or some Italian restaurant. You know, really, really, really good. And before I started using that, I used to use a tofu pasta. But this is so, so much better. I could eat that every day. And I've never eaten, I've never been crazy about pasta. But that is really, 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 really good. And breakfast, I eat bacon, eggs, sausage, chicken sausage, or grill some chicken. Uh, I made, during the 19-day challenge, keto challenge uh, I hosted, I made uh, cake, keto bites. I was about to say cake bites. Keto bites. Made them like a dozen at a time in the little uh, cupcake pans with the little liners. Prosciutto, capers, olives, whatever, feta, whatever cheese you want to use. And um, as long as it's not anything that has sugar in it. And um, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter, jiff, peanut butter, no sugar added. Yes. And Smucker's sugar-free jelly. I have this in strawberry, my favorite. I love strawberry. This is really, really good. Strawberry, they have peaches, they have assorted berries, all these different things that have helped me to stay on this keto lifestyle. I don't want to call it a diet because it's not a diet for me. And drink a lot of water. Water is the key. Water is the key, baby. It is the key. So drink lots of water. I buy bottled water. Just keep it in the refrigerator. And sometimes I put it in the freezer. And I could drink two or three back to back. But at meal. This is a little flavor you can add to your water. This is orange. Um, fruit punch. And this is... Wild berry, I think it is. No, cherry blackberry. All these are good. And these are Walmart's brand. This is Fruit Punch Walmart. This is Great Walmart. And I think this is Fruit Punch. I have two Fruit Punches. I have so many because, excuse me, I actually have some in the car too. Because when I go out to a restaurant, I will take one of those in with me. Either I order sugar-free tea. I mean, regular tea and add maybe Splenda to it. It's the sugar. Get rid of the sugar and the flour. Flour is in everything you eat. It's in crackers. It's in... I use this as an example because I'm in Georgia, Atlanta. I love chicken and dumplings. So when you make the dumplings, you got your chicken already in the pot, your carrots and all that. And carrots are not keto friendly, but they're in your broth. But um, when you put that dumpling in the pot, they swell up. 
What happens when we eat them? They swell up in our bodies. That's why my stomach was so big. Because I used to think, I don't eat a lot of bread. I didn't. I thought. But you eat bread for breakfast, bread throughout the day. Whenever you eat a sandwich, bread, bread, bread. And by the, I can only imagine how many carbs I was eating in a day pre this lifestyle. And happy Valentine's Day to you, Kevin English. I am cooking a tuna and shrimp. I, I was calling them a fritter, but really it's a cake. You can call them whatever you want. It'd be a fritter it was, if it was more like uh, a tempura, but it's not that. It's really pretty much a cake. And you can use the salsa on them. You can actually use a kicking country keto barbecue sauce on them. You know, hey, I'm just saying. Just saying. Remember to like, follow, and share. Like, follow, and share. Daryl Taylor Chef Drama. And this sauce is available on Amazon. If you have Prime, it's free shipping. It's also available in the TikTok shop, okay? And these are carb-free wrappers. These come from Aldi. No, this is Walmart. I'll tell you another secret about these. And this is these are keto-friendly wrappers from Aldi, okay? This is original, and this is a multi-seed. Original, and this is multi-seed. Now, I made pizzas out of these, two-layer pizzas. And remember to like, follow, and share. Um, their recipes on the TikTok page, just scroll down the page, and you'll see me cooking the pizzas during our 19-day challenge. All the recipes are there. Where did you find the pasta chef? Somebody now, I actually found this pasta at the Dollar Tree. But you can actually go online, get it on Amazon, or uh, you can get it straight from the manufacturer. Go to naturalheaven.com. In fact, they're running a special right now for Valentine's Day. This is really, really good. Cook your sauce, add a little butter to it, a little heavy cream, whatever you want to do. Um, if you want a little vodka in it. Vodka is keto friendly. We'll talk about drinks in just a minute. But this is a great pasta. It's already cooked. Make your sauce and then take it, put it in your pot, separate it with your hands or maybe with two forks, and then mix it in your sauce real good and let it simmer, cover it. And baby, when I tell you, you will slap somebody. Just don't slap me, okay? And remember to add some taco seasoning to your to your meat you know it makes it it weights that pasta up or if you don't have the taco seasoning use cumin now we talked about chicken and dumplings make your broth you can use a chicken broth or cook your whole chicken and you got your broth use some celery and you can use one or two carrots in there just for flavor and i don't care if you eat them i mean you're not going to eat very many because car carrots are really not keto friendly. So I wouldn't necessarily eat them if you're just starting this lifestyle. But just the, for the sake of seasoning your broth, add your celery and whatever else you're going to add to it. Uh, whether it's bell pepper, red pepper, onion. Onion's going to wake anything up, you know, uh, garlic. And take these and cut them into strips. And this are, these can be your dumplings. Okay, thank me later. Because all it is is flour. But this is the low-carb wrap. Cut them up. Put them in your pot with a little butter. Olive oil, whatever you want to use. And baby, inbox me and, and slap me through there. Just say slap. Say I'm slapping you today. <laughs> now, that's your chicken and dumplings. Now, these are some snacks that I bought at Aldi. This is the first one that I tried. Oh my God. Late night, I wanted like something sweet. Keto brownie. This is good. It tastes like a Snickers bar. Oh, yes. That is really, really good. So don't sleep on Aldi. And this is a uh, chocolate uh, coconut macaroon. Aldi. All the, all the, all the back. And now this is a salted caramel pecan. And when I tell you, oh, amazingly, incredibly delicious. All things Aldi. And one other thing I bought were almond chips. And sometimes I go to Aldi and I, I shop and I 
do uh, live segments while I'm shopping, just pointing out various things that I buy that have helped me maintain my weight for four years on this keto lifestyle. I don't want, I just want to be, make sure I'm not calling it a diet because it is so not a diet. Because I'm not, I'm not good on a diet. Mm -mm. Not sure. And um, another thing that I've done, meal prep. I think that's what mainly helped me so much was meal prepping. That helped me so much. Because I'm one of those people, when I get hungry, don't play with me. I will eat anything when I'm hungry. And I don't want to eat the wrong thing. So that's why I try to make sure I have things like tuna, uh, the pimento cheese. And you can actually make your own pimento cheese. What was I doing? I forgot what I was doing. Oh my God. Well, let's just tray this up um, so we can present it so we can eat. There was something I was about to do. Oh, I was going to tell you, I made meatloaf, milk prep. So I, I would do a lot of meatloaf, and I use these containers. You see? I buy them at Aldi, sometimes have them, uh, but mainly Sam's, Costco, even Walmart or Kroger, Target. These little carrot boxes. I make meatloaf uh, sometimes. And... Um, Either I would make a little gravy and I would use a little cornstarch, just a little, because cornstarch is really not keto friendly. But I would use just a little bit because I like gravy. But sometimes I would use ketchup. Ketchup, traditional ketchup, is loaded with sugar and carbs. This, I use Heinz now. No sugar added. Now, tomatoes have a natural sugar. But this has no additional sugar. So I would just top the meatloaf with this and maybe add a few pads of butter to it. And this is one. It's your mama's ketchup. I found it at Walmart because I've heard so many great things about it. Haven't tried it yet. But soon I will the next time I make meatloaf. And I actually have some meatloaf in the refrigerator now. And um, I just want to show you what Chef does. Because I don't... I don't cook every day. You know, this is meatloaf. And this is another meatloaf. You know? And so, when I know I'm, I'm going to have lunch at home, I'll take it out. Maybe add a little bit more ketchup to it or make some gravy. Uh, uh, with maybe a, uh, a beef base. Beef base, a little butter. And then I got an incredible meatloaf. And... It is amazingly good, you know? But those are things that have helped me. You know, I'm in the South, so I traditionally eat a lot of Southern things, you know? But not always, not always. Chef eats all sorts of stuff. But uh, appetite is not, it's kind of decreased since I've been doing this lifestyle, you know? So, let's see. We're gonna plate this up so we can just try it. Because I've been doing so much talking. So, Chef. So you're doing all this cooking, when are you gonna eat? Okay, we're just plating this up. Ooh, these look good. Oh, they look good. Mmm. Jay, do you think you might wanna try these? You wanna try? And I think I'm gonna add a little, um, I'm gonna add something to this. Maybe just a little garnish or something. What can we add, Chef? What can we add? Let me see, let me see. What do we have? What do we have? I got just what we need. We got a little salsa. I'm gonna add a little salsa. We're going to make a little kind of a real odd. There we go. Okay. This is really going to be simply amazing. 
Mmm. Let me add a lemon wedge to it. Add a lemon. Since it's tuna, right, we gotta have a little lemon or lime. Yeah. actually going to make just a little room. I'm gonna add some salsa. Now this is store-bought salsa. I'm gonna add a little garlic to it. And we're gonna add a little mayo. Cause you know, I gotta have a sauce, and I didn't think about it. Mmm. Add a little, a little fresh lime. Mmm. I'm gonna add a little sea salt. Yeah. Chef is working out today, baby. Add a little cracked pepper. See, if there's no pepper in, I don't want it. I would add a little. Mmm. Now, we're going to finish this with a little parsley. I'm also going to add a little peppers and some onion. I don't have any cilantro. Babe, who needs cilantro, right? Who needs it? You want to come and try this, Jenny? I promise you, you will be totally wild. And something is telling me it needs a little, a little heat. So I have some pickled jalapenos here. Because, you know, we are eating... Um, a little tuna and shrimp fritter or cake. Oh man, this is gonna be really good. I'm gonna add a little jalapeno peppers to this. Mm. Oh, that's gonna be good. Oh, chef, you are really outdoing yourself today. We are going to add a little Old Bay. Somebody asked about Old Bay. Well, we're using a little Old Bay. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Yeah, it is pretty. That is absolutely beautiful. Wait, wait, let me. I'm, We're trying to take pictures, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Okay. We're looking okay? Looks great. Okay. So this is what we came up with. Isn't that beautiful? It's pretty. It's a shrimp and tuna fritter or a cake. Oh my God. Tuna. Okay. So let me get you. Did you, you try it? I'm going to try it with you. Okay. So we can try it together. Sounds good. Okay. So here's you a fork and a napkin. There you go. You got a picture of that already? I did. Thank you. Okay. 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 So tell me what you think. Okay. Be honest now. We do. We do. Be Totally honest with me. Now, let's chef try. Is it is it good? Oh man. I don't even want to touch it. 
Isn't that pretty? It's very pretty. Always that presentation mm -hmm. makes you think, well, shit, it really is. Oh, man. Mm. Okay. We're waiting to see what you're going to say. Wow. That's delicious. That is really good. And you know, I'm not crazy about fish prepared tuna mm -hmm. like this. I know. Um, I normally just like regular tuna sandwich. Isn't that pretty? This is delicious. And that is a shrimp hmm. and tuna cake or fritter. Are you shrimp? Uh, shrimp yeah, shrimp, shrimp in there too. And those were jumbo shrimp. These are actually the shrimp that we had left over from Super Bowl Sunday. We oh, did all yeah. things all things tapas keto. Really good. Incredibly. Mm -hmm. I know it is good. So I'm going to go ahead and try. That's delicious. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Wow. That's great, Chef. Okay. Every time you call my name like that, I think of Bola. And I told her the other day, I said, I'm always talking about you. And that's because you call my name. Yeah, Chef. Mm. Whoa. So, let me step over here so we can eat together. Mm. Ah, man. Oh, my God, this is really good. That's delicious. Remember to like, follow, and share Daryl Taylor Chef Drama from Next Level Chef with Gordon Ramsay. Richard Blaze and Naisha Arrington. Now, these are some of the things that have helped me maintain my weight uh, after four years being on this lifestyle of keto. So I'd just like to share some of the things. So please don't think that I have a cluttered table full of goodies. No, these things are to help you guys. I'd just like to show you each time I come on all the things that have helped me. Remember to like, follow, and share. Daryl Taylor, Chef Drama. Somebody said, Daryl, just eat the damn food. I'm going to huh. eat. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is good. They're really delicious. Mmm. Mm. Give me your plate back. Put the spoon on there before. Mmm. -hmm. I just want the people to see. Nah. Okay. That's the end result. So I guess it must be pretty damn, damn good. <laughs> you could put one more on that plate. Really? Mm -hmm. That is good. Mm -hmm. Make it as pretty as the last one, because I'm going to take another picture. Mm -hmm. Let me get another plate here. Let me get another plate to see. He, want, he wants it pretty. Mm. That is really good. Of course, that's Hexclad. You can get yours too at Hexclad.com. Use the code Daryl10 and receive 10% off with Hexclad. Okay. Oh, that sauce, man. That sauce is delicious. Isn't that good? It's bussing. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's bussing. Uh, that's the uh, new word. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm old school, so I don't know anything about bussing. Sunday Sugar said that. Who's that? Sunday Sugar. She said that looks busted. Ah! And it is. Okay. I hear somebody saying, let me in this damn house. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Let me erase this off because you're taking pictures and it's supposed to be next level. Uh, if Daniel see this picture, he'd be like, hold up now, Chef. Yeah, Who took that picture and had something on the fork? Yeah, something on the. Mm -hmm. You got a napkin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here you go. There's your fork. Okay. Now that this is really, really, really good, and I'll tell you a secret. I don't always like. I don't always like tuna heated up. But baby, when I tell you, this tuna is absolutely incredible. I don't, I don't always
always like a, a hot tuna. I don't. I'm being honest with you. But this is incredibly good. Mmm. Tuna and shrimp. And this is canned tuna. There's so many ways you can have these dishes to make them taste amazing. You have control of your keto lifestyle journey. Use all the herbs and spices. Sometimes just go to the, to the farmer's market and just grab herbs and spices. It could be something Indian. Just grab it. Grab all these different herbs. I love to go to the farmer's market and just grab things. Just grab, grab, grab. And then come back and create. You know, you may not even know what they're, they're good in. Google. Google. Google what is so-and-so good in? What is this good in? What is turmeric good in? What is just whatever? And make creative dishes the way you like them. Pinky coal. Pinky killer brew. Thanks for joining, sweetheart. Remember to like, follow, and share. Of course, I mentioned I live here in Atlanta, Georgia, but I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. So I created this incredible barbecue sauce because I still wanted to enjoy barbecue. Being from Memphis, living in Atlanta, Atlanta is my home, it's been my home for over 25 years. Um, barbecue is in my genes. So Memphis is known for barbecue and blues. Yes, blues. So when you try this barbecue sauce, you will start singing the blues, okay? So, um, Kickin' Country Keto Barbecue. It's available on Amazon and also on the TikTok shop. If you have Prime membership, it is free shipping. Free shipping on Prime, on, on Prime membership with um, Amazon and uh, available in TikTok shop, okay? We just recently put it on the TikTok shop. And it will soon be available in your local retail stores. So please remember to like, share, and follow me, Chef Drama Chef Taylor, on this Valentine's Day. I thank you for being my Valentine today. You know, I really do appreciate that. So when you like, follow, and share, you will know what stores it will drop first, okay? So I want you guys to join me because I will be going out to various supermarkets various stores doing live cooking segments um, very often and of course you know I've did segments in Chicago uh, Memphis uh, some of everywhere um, and so remember to like follow and share and you can go with me on this journey of this keto lifestyle okay I'm gonna sign off so I can enjoy my dinner this is a light dinner I guess Cause I'm gonna want something else. You sure are. Yeah, I'm gonna want something else. I don't know what, but something. I was gonna tell you about drinks. You can have tequila, you can have vodka and gin, and you can have bourbon. All those things are keto friendly. However, you can have them with anything that's sugar free. You see? Crystal Light, Fruit Punch, Lemonade. You need to take the tequila and make a margarita with lemonade, Crystal Light. Mm. Um, and you can add these meals to your drinks. And sparkling waters, sparkling waters will give you that fuzz, that little buzz you need. Uh, and then Google keto friendly uh, drinks. Uh, both alcoholic and things that you can use as um, mixers because there's so many sugar-free uh, things out there. But stay away from orange juice. Even though it says it's sugar, -free, sugar, reduced sugar and all that, it still has lots and lots and lots and lots of sugar. And this is what sugar had been doing to me all my life. 290 pounds. This is me, uh, I think at Fox 5 Studios or something, about 140 Something pounds. So I've lost 147 pounds. Can you can you even imagine that? Losing a whole person. A whole person, really. You know? But um I'm gonna go, but I've enjoyed you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, so I'm gonna try and get ready so maybe I can go out 
uh, valentining tonight. <laughs> valentining? Valentining. Okay, valentining. As they say here in the South. Valentine. No, in, in the South. <laughs> oh, God. Well, actually, I've had an amazing time, and I will see you guys next time. Not sure when, but remember to like, follow, and share, and set your TikTok. It will let you know when I'm on, okay? See you guys soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.